everybody, Matt Bell with the Electric Violin Shop. I'm really passionate about playing the electric violin, but I'm super, super passionate about this guy right here. When I discovered the Viper nearly 20 years ago, it was like I'd found the Holy Grail. I always grew up as a violin player, but I sort of secretly wanted to be a guitarist. And the thing that always appealed to me about guitars is that there's so much freedom. It's a, it's a hands-free, head-free, they can run, they can jump, they can move. There's just so many things a guitar can do that a traditional violin setup cannot do. Playing the Viper, it's a radically different experience from playing any other type of violin. The biggest difference between the Viper and any other instrument is the strap and the chest support system. So, as you can see, the Viper comes off. It has a strap that holds it on and a chest support so instead of holding it with your body, um, the violin holds you. As you can see, I don't have to hold this at all. I put it on and it just sits there. Both of my hands are free to do whatever I need to do. Grab a microphone, I can interact with people in an audience. I can pick up my bow, I can turn my head, I can interact with the people in my band while I'm playing or do whatever. It's all about freedom. The adjustability of this violin is really nice. I can lengthen the strap and adjust my chest support such that the violin sits farther away from me or I can adjust the chest support and shorten the strap so that the violin sits closer to me like a traditional violin. So while my scale length is the same and it doesn't affect my intonation it allows me to get the violin in a more comfortable position for my frame. We actually get a lot of questions here about the weight of various violins. This is not a heavy violin but I don't have to hold it anyway. My skeleton holds the weight, and it doesn't weigh any more than a, than a jacket does anyway. Um, but you should be able to play this for hours and hours and hours. I mean, you can play as long as you can hold your arm up. There are very few things on a stage that are as annoying as cables laying all over the place. They make your stage look sloppy. It's a tripping hazard. Uh, if you're moving around the stage a lot, you're going to get tied up with the other musicians on stage. It's horrible. So a wireless is totally the way to go. And most of them have a body pack with some batteries in it. The problem with a lot of electric violins is where do I put that pack? The Viper has a strap just like a guitar and allows you to hang your wireless on that strap and then it's, it's used as designed so you don't have to think about it. I don't have to worry about where my wireless is going to be. Is it going to fall off? Is it going to mess up? It's not a problem. Let's be honest, if you're playing the violin, you're bringing something different to your group than most groups have. Not every rock band has a violin, although I think they all should. So you're already something different. If you have one of these, your band is going to stand out for sure. Everybody's going to remember, oh yeah, they're the one with that crazy flying V violin. See, a keyboard can sound like anything. And guitars can sound like just about anything, but when people see a violin, they think, oh, it's got to sound like Mozart, or it's got to sound like Bach. So part of my whole deal is trying to break the paradigm of what a violin is supposed to sound like. And you can help yourself do that with the audience if you break the visual paradigm of what a violin is supposed to look like. So this doesn't look like a violin, so people don't necessarily expect it to sound like a violin. So when I come in with a sort of a weird sound, people are less rattled by that, and I think they're a little more accepting of it. You may have noticed this instrument does not have a bout. A traditional violin has a bout where, you know, your hand comes up and stops. The reason that that bout is there is not for any reason except that the resonance of an acoustic instrument depends on all that hollow space within the wood. With an electric violin, we no longer need that body for resonance, so let's just get rid of the thing, and then we have access to all of our string spacings, and, and uh, we have access to the whole fingerboard on the instrument without any sort of weird elbow positioning. Another fantastic feature are the guitar tuners. I'm sure you guys, a lot of you have dealt with the old friction fit pegs. I, I can't say enough about how obnoxious that experience is. Guitar tuners allow me to tune very, very quickly and very, very accurately. 
Um, they even allow me to do some, some tuning down while I'm playing. You know, there might be a... You know, a little uh, type of a band that I want to do that's a little different. They allow me to do that where a, uh, a traditional violin doesn't allow you to do that. So the guitar tuners are fantastic. So another great feature, not all Vipers are fretted, but a lot of them are. The frets on the Viper are a little different. I don't know if any of you have played guitar or mandolin, but you play behind the fret and the string breaks over the fret, your finger pushes it down, and then it's impossible to play the instrument out of tune. This is a little different. You actually play on top of the frets. They're raised up just enough for you to feel them as you're coming by, but they're not high enough to break the string over that fret and cause it to tune out. But it gives you the best of both worlds. It allows you to play in tune easier, and it still gives you that organic fretless feel for the most part. Also, not every Viper comes with a Barbera pickup, but most Vipers come with Barbera pickups. The Barbera is sort of the Cadillac of pickups. The Barbera sounds fantastic through all kinds of different effects, and I use a ton of different effects. I like to, to dial my volume knob back to about 75 or 80% just to take a little bit of the harshness out of the uh, piezo pickup. But the Barbera is so powerful that even at 75%, I still have plenty of output, and I never have any complaints from sound engineers about, man, I can't get your signal. It's always plenty powerful. It's a great pickup. If you can get a Barbera, you should have one. Most Vipers come with one. Sort of the final reason that I am a huge fan of the Viper, I'm just really not interested in touring with anything else. I work here at the Electric Violin Shop and I've got access to all these awesome violins and I love coming into the shop every day and playing them. I love the way they feel different and sound different and play different. Every one of them can do something different. And I've had a chance to take some of these out on the road and every time I pick one up, it's like, it's not my Viper. They don't look like any other violin. They're just cool. Um.